Hi, this is a foreigner in the Philippines. Now I'm going to take a little walk down and show you what's been happening on our path since we tore it up yesterday. I'm on a selfie stick on my own, so we'll do what I can, okay? It's, uh, it's pretty treacherous. See, if you look around here, this is the path. And right up to to the house there, it's looking pretty awful. We just about got up here. Don't know how we managed it. Well, I do. We we had some old cladding. Put the old cladding under the wheels and uh, and managed to get up. This is a little bit tricky here. This is why. This uh, little fence is there to just uh, warn. It's not there to <laughs> it's not there to help. But if you go into that as you turn this corner and you go a wheel off there, we'll have you toppling down that hill. That takes you right down to the rice fields. Not a great trip. This shows you where we tore everything up again. Now you can see there's a dog there, that's sugar, and I don't know why, but the, the dogs come rushing out when I was on the bike, they always came rushing out to, to, uh, to meet me on the way up, and the problem with that is, when they come rushing out to meet me, I can't stop. So there's this one here, this little guy is, uh, snow and snow disappears under the front and you really don't know <laughs> what's happened to him and now here that shows you have a little trail of destruction we got stuck here we slid back Slid back into the grass. Over here. Don't know how good this is going to be. Well, this is what we call the tunnel. We call this the tunnel because it rises quite steeply on on both sides at some points. And what happens is the truck slides to the side and then sometimes it can get at an angle and boy then you're really screwed. You can see how that's happened here. Now we have lots of advice, which is all good advice, about putting gravel down. But we're talking about a huge amount. <laughs> it's a huge amount of surface. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you dizzy. But it's a huge amount of surface, a huge amount of material. And we're not starting off with an even with an even surface. So as much as the advice is good, it, it's not practical. Well, for one thing, money is an issue, and we can't if we can't afford it, then we can't do it. Yes, someone said, you know, well, maybe you're going to have to concrete the whole thing. <laughs> that wouldn't chance be a fine thing. <laughs> we would love to do that. But uh, I don't think that that's going to happen. Yeah, so just to give you an idea, this is where, where we're joining the path. That's where we've come from. You see the sides pretty steep here. I'm actually on the side here now. This is the, this is the wall. Luckily, they've sloped it away from the from the ground. So when we do slide over, which we do, 
we don't end up uh, smashing the back of the, or the side of the truck in. But right now there's a, a fair bit of water. So now you can see going away in tears. In fact, I think you can see that there's a terrific amount of water yet to come down. It's coming off there in that little waterfall. And it comes down here and it sits here. Goes under the bridge. The design for the bridge has actually worked out very well because we're nowhere near maximum where the, the water would go over the bridge. I don't think that it ever will. Of course, that could be famous last year, couldn't it? Now we do get we get a tremendous amount of, of water that comes over here. In this particular part where we angled it, we angled the bridge there. I don't know whether I'm doing this right. That's the, the road up, takes us to the next level. But that down here, the water absolutely pours over that part there to uh, wash away all of the, the undergrowth and even now that's fairly it's a fairly powerful rush of water there goes down now this creek is uh, gets even uh, bigger down to the bottom towards Josephine and Perry's house and they have problems with the bridge as well, which they're fixing now. So this was one, one place where down here, look, you can see that we've laid a lot of gravel. And actually it's been pretty successful. We've got some water run away there, but what we did was we put the channel in here. Now this channel actually takes away a lot of the water which comes down from up there. We still have a ton of material here, probably literally. And what we'll be what we will be doing is we'll be taking this material, which is below me now, we'll be taking this material and we'll be We'll be putting it up in the tunnel and trying to get some, make some sense of it. Now right here, you can see there's some pretty serious erosion. That all comes down, washes right down, goes into there, but it also goes down and goes off at an angle. And before we got this drainage in, it was coming and going straight down the hill. There's the rice fields there. All of these rice terraces are tended by my brother-in-law, Manorado, and uh, up on the hill there, you can see a big mango tree. That's his house. You can hear the water running off. Very clever the way they do that on the on the terraces. They're all tiered down the hill. And this came down to look at the road really. And as you can see, I hold up like this. You can see behind me. There's a, a huge amount of erosion. Now this is one where one of the bits of advice that we did get, which we, we had already decided that we would do, would be to just start bringing down tons of 
uh, have bagged up concrete, not concrete, uh, bagged up gravel, bring down the gravel and just tip it off the, uh, off the truck as we go. Of course we can't have the road closed so it has to be done a few bags at a time so I would do I would do a load, um, maybe I don't know, maybe six or ten bags and then tip that off gradually, take the rake with me and rake it out and it would eventually get tamped down. That's that's the plan, which is pretty well what uh, one of our subscribers, well several of our describe our subscribers suggested. Now this, you can see that we've taken a cut out of the side. It's a cut out of the side of the of the hill there, and then that material was all moved over to the left.